First, you would need a mannequin head, a hat of your choice, a hot glue gun, and some glue sticks. This one is from Amazon. It was very inexpensive. Came with everything in it, including the glue sticks. This is what they look like. And then some old bundles or hair of your choice that you want to use for your hat. This is my hair from Tanashi hair, so yeah. Before you start gluing the hair on, you just wanna make sure that the hat is fitted to your head. Make sure you allow rooms for braids or however your hair is gonna be when you wear this hat. But yeah, the brim of this hat was so damn long. Like I was just <laughs> ranting to y'all like. <laughs> yeah, so now let's get started. So the first thing that you wanna do is make sure that you flip the hat inside out. I was getting rid of this cardboard and all the stuff that came with the hat but yeah just flip the hat inside out so you can glue your track so that way they are hidden obviously <laughs> when you flip it the correct way so just put the hat on the mannequin head and i'm just showing you how it should look so now i'm just gonna put my glue stick and my glue gun and wait for it to warm up you'll know that the glue gun is on when the red light is on i'll leave the link down below for this glue gun so now you want to take your tracks and measure out how long it is. You know, how <laughs> measure out the perimeter of the damn hat. And then you cut it and you put the glue on the track as you would if with bonding glue. And then you just literally press it onto the hat. Like, this is so easy. Simple one, two, three. Like, the most difficult part, I will say, is because this hat has a a hole in the back you have to like finesse how the hair is going to be but i'll show you how i did that in a couple minutes one thing about the hot glue gun is that the glue dries like pretty quick so it's just way like less time consuming <laughs> so now i'm gonna put a second chalk on and when i'm cutting the chalks yeah i just double the weft and then cut it so that way i could get two pieces at a time so i'm not doing like twice the work so yeah after that i'm just gonna measure another piece and then do the same process over again so yeah i'm gonna just let you guys watch what i'm doing until i get to the part where the hole is at So if you had a regular fitted hat, you would have been able to put the track like straight across. But since it's not the case for me, I'm just going to curve it around the opening. So I'm just going to put the glue first so it's easier for me to lay down the track. Then I'm just going to place the track and hold it until it dries. So I'm just going to continue that pattern for a couple of tracks just so it can be thick enough to cover it. So that way you won't be able to see the braids under or how my hair is going to be. So this is how it looks. This is the final product product of how it looks underneath.
Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.